Welcome to this AWS hands-on tutorial where I'll be walking through the CRUD API with Lambda and DynamoDB tutorial on the AWS Developer Guide site. In following the tutorial, we'll create a serverless API which will create, read, update, and delete items from a DynamoDB table. First, we'll create the DynamoDB table, then create a Lambda function using code provided by AWS, then build an HTTP API and API gateway. Finally, we'll test the API using curl commands from the terminal. To get started, I've logged into the AWS console and navigated to the DynamoDB service. From here, I'll create a table and to give it the name of HTTP CRUD tutorial items and set the partition key to ID. Then I'll scroll down and create the table. While the table's creating, I'll jump over to AWS Lambda and create a function. I'll give the function a name of HTTP CRUD tutorial function, leave the runtime as Node.js 16, and then click to expand change default execution rule. I'll select create a new role from AWS policy templates and give the role a name of HTTP CRUD tutorial role. For the policy template, I'll select simple microservice permissions, then scroll down and create the function. With the function created, I'll click on the index.js file and replace the default code with code provided from AWS in the tutorial. And now I'll deploy the function. Taking a quick look at the function, we see they've required the AWS SDK and then instantiated an instance of a DynamoDB client. Inside of the function handler, they've implemented the routing in a switch statement. If the route key is delete and the items with an ID is passed, then they'll call delete on the Dynamo object and delete the item from the table. For a get request which passes items ID, they'll do a get request on the table for the item with the ID passed in. Get slash items will scan the table and return all the items, and a put with items will put a new item into the table. Now with the DynamoDB table created and the Lambda function as well, I'll jump over to API Gateway and build a new HTTP API. I'll give the API a name of HTTP CRUD Tutorial API, click Next. I'll click Next on the Configure Route step, leave the defaults for the stage name, click Next, and then create the API. Then with the API selected, I'll click Routes and add the routes for the API. With the routes created, I'll click Integrations to build an integration between the API and the Lambda function. I'll skip to attach this integration to a route and then in the integration target, I'll select Lambda function and then choose the Lambda function and then create. Now I'll attach the integration to the routes by clicking integrations, selecting a route and then the integration and finally attach. And I'll do the same for the other routes. Now with the DynamoDB table in place, the Lambda function created, and the API built, I can test the integration. So I'll click on APIs, click the link to the HTTP CRUD tutorial API, and then copy the endpoint. Here I've copied and pasted the curl commands from the AWS tutorial and now I'll replace their endpoint with the endpoint that I copied from API Gateway. Now I'll copy the first command which will create an item in the DynamoDB table, paste it into the terminal, and we see that the item was created. I'll clear the screen, copy the command to get all the items, and paste it, and we see that our item is returned. I'll clear again, execute the command to get a single item, which was successfully returned, and then delete the item from the table, which was successful. Finally, I'll execute the command to get all the items again, 
and we see the command was successful and there are no items in the table. And that concludes this walkthrough of the AWS tutorial to build a CRUD API with a Lambda function and a DynamoDB table.